Welcome to episode 8 of our Antarctica and Falklands vlog series. Please subscribe to our channel and select the bell to receive notifications of our new content. Thank you. En route to Detalier Island later today, we enjoyed very scenic cruising to and through the Gunnel, one of two parallel glacial inside passages. Myself and a few other hardy souls were out here for a couple of hours. Some people waited inside. We were about to enter the gullet, which is basically a slalom course of icebergs and mountains and cool stuff. Yeah, we've been out here for, well, to be fair, I've been out here for about two and a half hours. This one has been inside with coffee and things like that. But yeah, anyway, the expedition team's awesome. They're explaining stuff to us, uh, get to look in the telescopes and just talk about birds and seals and penguins. What do you think so far? 
awesome. Just stunningly awesome. Actually, I've run out of adjectives to describe it. Adjectives that I don't have to bleep out yet in post-production. <laughs> well, it's um... amazing. Yeah. Next, we explored Detaille Island. After passing through the gunnel, we arrived at Detaille Island, a former British base with a very brief history but unique look back in time. Frozen water. Oh, that channel was stunning, and then over oh, this one, it? it's been a beautiful day. Down here once where we had 10 days of nothing but howling gales and we hardly did anything. We cancel, cancel, cancel. Thank you. All drivers and drivers for information, the tide will keep dropping for Detalles Base W is a bit of a time capsule. Due to rapidly encroaching ice hampering resupply and relief, the base was ordered to be abandoned suddenly. With very short notice, all personnel departed, leaving many of their items behind and rendering this place a very well-preserved look back at life at that moment. Britain's Base W is just one of several sites still managed by the British Antarctic Survey, with personnel from Base A on Port Lockroy, which you'll see in our next episode. There's a very rich history of exploration in Antarctica, and I encourage you to visit here if you can. This place really is a time capsule. A short hike to the top of a snowy hill gave a wonderful perspective of the area and what those early explorers saw, minus the recreational kayaks.
Next, we explore Peterman Island. The next day, we arrived at Peterman Island, completely full of lovable penguins within a rather small area. Awesome. The area surrounding this rookery was ideally situated for wildlife spotting all around. I didn't go too far beyond here at Peterman. This is perfect. Wondering which way he or she would want to go. Off to a nearby rookery via the very practical penguin highway system. I just love the Penguin Highways. Not only are penguins very fast in water, they're also very graceful, but sometimes not so graceful in snow. 
to be honest, I stumbled in the snow a few times as well. Next, we depart Peterman Island and head to an iceberg graveyard. As the last of the expedition team returned to the ship, we were anticipating our afternoon sail through Planau Bay. Planau Bay is an area that, due to terrain and currents, tends to trap icebergs that drift in here. It's visually quite beautiful. Following the evening briefing, it was northbound through the stunning Le Maire Channel. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the thumbs up button. Thank you. In our next episode, we explore Port Lockroy and then explore the bottom of the bay in one of Venture's submarines. Thank you for watching.